On October 18, 2006, a routine aerial photography mission near Prescott, Arizona turned deadly. A Piper PA-42 Cheyenne 3, registered as November 121 Charlie Sierra, was lost when its tail section separated in flight. Tragically, the airline transport pilot and all four passengers on board perished. The flight, operating under Part 91 regulations, had a specific purpose, to capture aerial photographs of a MiG-21 fighter jet, November 121 Uniform Tango. Before the flight, the pilots of both aircraft had discussed the flight plan, agreeing on a minimum altitude of 2,500 to 3,000 feet above the ground level, or AGL, and a minimum airspeed of 200 knots. Importantly, this was not intended to be a formation flight, and no minimum separation distance was established. The Cheyenne, November 121 Charlie Sierra, took off first, remained overhead, and waited for the departure of the MiG-21. Cheyenne 1 Charlie Sierra, on my 2 and left position and hold. Shortly after the Cheyenne's departure, air traffic control reported observing what appeared to be smoke emanating from its right engine. Approximately 15 minutes after the Cheyenne's departure, the MiG-21 took off and flew straight out on a northeast heading. On departure, he experienced a problem retracting the landing gear, and noted that only the nose landing gear was successfully retracted. He recycled the landing gear handle and received a successful gear retraction indication. Approximately 15 nautical miles northeast of the airfield, the two aircraft converged. The MiG pilot, grappling with the anomaly of his partially retracted landing gear, relayed the information to the Cheyenne crew. In response, the Cheyenne pilot, with perhaps well-intentioned but ultimately fateful words, offered to visually assess the MiG's condition in flight. To facilitate this close quarters observation, the MiG pilot ascended to 9,000 feet mean sea level (MSL), initiating a deliberate 30-degree right-hand turn, maintaining a steady 200 knots with approach flaps deployed. It was in this turning configuration that the MiG pilot observed the Cheyenne join his 5 o'clock position, a fleeting moment of proximity, a prelude to the unforeseen catastrophe. Then, silence. 
About 30 seconds after last seeing the Cheyenne, the MiG pilot heard a partial transmission from the Cheyenne pilot regarding the right landing gear or gear door. When there was no follow-up, the MiG pilot attempted to contact the Cheyenne, but received no response. After a couple minutes, the MiG pilot spotted a column of smoke on the ground and alerted air traffic control. 2 one uniform Tango, first guitar. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far away I am. I'm about to 15 miles to the northeast. Uh, I've got smoke and fire down here on the ground below me. I've lost contact with the aircraft that was flying with me. Uh, do you have any LP? I'm a 3-4 turn base, runway 2 one up, clear land. Roger, turn base, who clears the land, 2 one left, rule 3 Experiment on one uniform tango, Roger. Are you going to uh, orbit right there, or uh, are you going to come inbound? Well, I'm going to orbit here momentarily until I get light enough on gas to land, and I'm going to come inbound. Roger. Arrow 17 tango, holding your present position. Arrow 17 Experiment on two uniform tango. We just checked our backup radios. We are not receiving any LT at all. Arrow 17 tango, holding your present position. Arrow 17 One uniform tango, can you give me the distance and, pot and approximate mileage? Stand by. Okay, first get power, experimental two one uniform tango. one uniform tango, good. 16 miles right out, uh, not quite the extended center line on the distance, a little bit uh, more than the extended center line. It's about zero three zero for one uniform tango. Roger. Okay. Experimental one uniform tango, one able squawk five two one one. The subsequent investigation by the NTSB revealed a catastrophic in-flight breakup of the Cheyenne. The main wreckage, heavily damaged by the impact and fire, was found at 4,366 feet MSL. Crucially, the T-tail section, including the upper vertical stabilizer, the entire horizontal stabilizer, and the elevator separated in flight and came to rest about half a mile south of the main wreckage, at a higher elevation of 4,466 feet MSL. This separated tail section showed no signs of fire damage. There was no evidence of pre-existing cracks, corrosion, or loose fasteners in the area of the separations. Radar data indicated that the Cheyenne joined the MiG on the inside of the right-hand turn, descending from above to approximately 100 feet below the MiG. The last radar return with altitude information placed both aircraft at 7,900 feet MSL, just moments before the accident. A passenger in the MiG reported hearing the MiG pilot instruct the Cheyenne pilot to go ahead and fly under the airplane and check. The Prescott airport manager corroborated this, stating he overheard the Cheyenne pilot say he would drop down and go underneath, and let you know how it looks. Experimental 1 Uniform Tango, 1 Able Squawk 5, 2, 1, 1. Thank you and advise me when you're approximately three minutes ready to turn inbound with uh, information hotel, please. Okay, we'll Experimental one uniform tango, sir. Say request. Uh, I'd like to turn in, uh, make it straight into two on left, low approach, have you look over my aircraft, uh, as best you can see me, and then turn down into land. Experimental one uniform tango, make straight in runway two on left, report five mile final, no altitude restriction. You have India on the head. 3008, got it. Second. Experimental 2-1 uniform tango. Copy, you let out India with 3-0-0-8 alpha. Experimental 1 uniform tango, alpha. The National Transportation Safety Board's final determination regarding the probable cause of this tragic accident was as follows. The failure of the pilot following a jet aircraft to maintain adequate separation from the high-velocity jet core exhaust. The separation of the T-tail upper section vertical stabilizer of the following aircraft due to contact with the high-velocity jet core exhaust was a factor. The tragedy above Prescott underscores a critical lesson. Even well-intentioned close proximity maneuvers around jet aircraft can have catastrophic consequences. The in-flight breakup of the Cheyenne 3, likely due to the MiG's jet exhaust, serves as a somber reminder of the unseen dangers in the sky.